just uh, you know trying to make the next step. You know? and, um, <coughs> they've given uh, Brett uh, an opportunity to implement you know his system you know to this franchise, implement his system to the guys over years, and you know I think it's paying dividends for him now. They're you know, sprinkling in some veterans with the young guys. Uh, the young guys are, are playing extremely well. You know, and Embiid and, <coughs> and obviously Ben. Also, veterans in and JJ Reddick, um, so uh, Mir Johnson. So they've they've kind of you know reshaped their, their whole roster uh, for the greater good. Patience. You got to be patient with. You know, if you want to build something, you want to try to build something. You can't just automatically it's going to happen overnight, man. But, you know, that's what they, like I said, it's, the organization has done a great job of believing in Brett Brown's system, believing in his what he wanted to do, and, and they gave him some time. You know, you got sometimes a lot of. A lot of teams, a lot of organizations in all sports kind of give up on the system or give up on the guy very fast and not allow him to to implement and get players. I mean, you got to have players too. You know, and now that he has, you know, over the last couple of years, he's continued to build the, the, the players and the personnel and things that fit, you know, what he wants to do in the playing But I think Ben is his own makeup of speed, power, quickness, ability to pass the ball, ability to have a feel for the game. Uh, and ben is Ben, and I am who I am. I'm still I'm thinking about what I'm going to do in the future. I, I'm not thinking about what other teams are doing. It's not about me versus Ben. It's about the Cavs versus seven Sixers, and we want to continue to play good ball. They've been playing good ball, especially at home, so it's not about me versus him at all. Uh, he's good. He's very good. Very talented. Multi-dimensional. Can shoot the ball from the, uh, from the outside. Can get to the post. Footwork. Up and unders. Plays a lot of energy. And he's funny, too. <laughs> Very funny. Very That's funny guy. Who cares? What are you going to do about it? You going to fight him? Who cares? I think we're so sensitive. Um, I got three three guys that I love watching play. Um, Tom Brady. Antonio Brown mixed with Le'Veon Bell. They're on the same team, so I get an opportunity to watch the same guys on the, at the same time. And, uh, my favorite player right now is Carson Wentz. I told my brother that early in the season um, that uh, I just love the way he plays the game. You know, uh, Way he able to get the progressions, you know, throughout the course of a three-step drop or five-step drop, and then if everything breaks down, his ability to run, get outside the pocket, either make passes or get, you know, get yards with his feet. Um, he's a very smart player uh, from the outside looking in, obviously, and uh, they got a, a really good team. You know, I'm a Cowboy fan, I'm a Browns fan, but I'm, I'm a fan of sports and I know sports. So. As a Browns fan, disappointed that they passed on Carson Wentz. Uh. <laughs> They're passing a lot of people. Thanks, <laughs> I love the Ronnie Lott story. He was like, yo, just cut my finger off. Love that story. And then I just love Deion Sanders. But I'm not a cowboy. I like that. I'm not a Niners fan. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the ones that It's tough when you got a 16, 16, 11 guy playing the point guard position. Um, plays your pace, gets down here, makes the right play. Um, you know, Embiid is a big post threat, also to shoot the basketball. So, um, they got a lot of guys playing well. Um, Covington, J.J. Reddick shoot the ball well. So, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a team effort, and they always play us tough anyway. So, um, it's going to be a good game. Um, just playing the game. I just think, you know, um, the expectations hasn't got to him. I think he's just been coming out, playing the game the right way. Um, when the pass is open, he's making the pass. When he's able to get down here, get into the paint, he's doing that. And he just, you know, just plays the right way. I mean, when you have a guy um, with that kind of speed and power and athleticism and also that kind of talent, you know, usually they force a lot of things. But he doesn't force anything. He plays the game the right way. He just takes what the defense gives him. Um, I guess, you know, the speed and athleticism, um, being able to handle the basketball at that height, being able to make the right pass and right play. Um, and then come into, you know, his rookie season with a lot of expectations. Um, just a, you know, tremendous talent. I mean, you, know, you might shoot the running sky hook, the uh, Euro step, um, shooting threes, um, mid range, facing up, shooting off the glass, putting it on the floor, back down. So he has a total package offensively. So um, it's a tough challenge, and you know, we just got to be ready to help and defend him collectively.